Why do we hate ourselves? Well, I don't have an answer for you, but I do think I can help you love yourself a little more. Superhuman. All right, first, I already know what you're thinking. Ray, I already love myself every time my wife leaves the house. Sometimes twice. <laughs> I'm not really talking about that. Now, I like analogies, so let's use the Incredible Hulk as an analogy. As you already know, when Bruce Banner, the scientist, gets upset, he turns into this raging, out-of-control monster known as the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Now, Bruce often despises the Hulk because it's a part of him that's destructive and dangerous. Plus, he's a guy who literally hates himself. It's a nightmare. But here's the crazy thing. People love this character. He's super popular. He's inspired a bunch of movies, a bunch of action figures, some really bad cosplay. There's even a Hulk adult toy you can buy on Amazon. Which would be weird, but there's also one in the shape of Thor's hammer. Not kidding. Anyway, the Hulk had a TV show in the 70s where he was kind of just a really buff dude with a green spray tan. Now this Hulk is probably my favorite Hulk. I mean, look at him. He looks like the drummer for a vegan death metal band. Now, I know it seems corny to us, but this show was actually a hit. People tuned in every week to watch him Hulk out in that very believable wig. All right, so why am I telling you all this? Well, it'll make sense in a minute, but first I wanna tell you the four things that you can do that might help you love yourself a little more. Now, some of this stuff I'm gonna tell you is pretty obvious, but who cares? Let's just have fun talking about it anyways. One, stop comparing. You wanna know how to love yourself more? Stop comparing yourself to other people. Oh, I hear you all the time, like, Oh, I wish I was skinny like her. Oh, I wish I was rich like her. Oh, I wish I could burp the alphabet like her. Stop it! It drives me nuts! You are not the same as the person you're comparing yourself to. You weren't raised the same, you weren't given the same opportunities, and you don't live the same life. So stop comparing, especially on social media. All right, I got an example for you. Now, generally, I don't like to use myself as an example in these. I like to use like Harry Potter or Spider-Man or an overweight Ninja Turtle or whatever. But just this once, let me use my social media as an example. I promised you this year that I was going to inspire you. So I've been waking up every morning and jogging and posting it on my Instagram stories. It's freezing, but we're here. We said we'd do it, so let's do it. And yeah, that's pretty cool. But let me be clear about this. This is the first time in my life that I've woken up early to run. Running is not my thing. It's too damn cold out, my legs are too short, and I run funny. Basically, I look like a cartoon penguin when I run. It's embarrassing. But I do it to show you that if I can wake up every morning and do something I hate, you can too. If I can do it, you can too. Let's get it. But you wanna know what I didn't put in my Instagram stories? The 365 days last year that I didn't wake up and run. Or all the days where I got lazy and ate Fruit Loops for dinner. Or the days where I laid on the couch and watched 13 hours of Korean soap operas. Knowing damn good and well soon ye ain't gonna give up that baby. Mm -mm. Look, social media is not real. It's misleading. I mean, come on. Social media represents real life the same way Burger King represents royalty. Not very damn well. So stop comparing yourself to other people. It's not helping you. Two, quit hitting yourself. Being picked on and being bullied is not something people generally laugh at. Unless it's Meg from Family Guy. Then everybody seems to laugh. See, this show has done a really good job of turning their least interesting character into someone watchable by basically turning her into a punching bag, leading to the now infamous catchphrase, Shut up, Meg. 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 This catchphrase is so popular, even the voice actress who plays her gets told shut up, Meg, on the street. The one thing that I get the most of is shut up, Meg, on the street. Time, I will walk down the street and be like, <laughs> shut up, Meg. <laughs> and yeah, I admit it, it's entertaining because it's a cartoon. But in real life, getting picked on? Not fun. Yet we constantly pick on ourselves. Yeah, I made a whole video about this before, but we all have this little voice in our head that tells us we suck, it puts us down, it discourages us. Basically every time we talk it says, Shut up, Meg. Listen, the biggest bully you'll ever face in your life is the one living inside you. And you have to stop talking to yourself that way because you deserve better than that. Okay, let's imagine one day you're chilling with one of your friends and you suddenly turn to your friend and say, you suck, you're such an idiot, you will never be good enough. Shut up, Meg. You know what that friend would do? They would leave. Why? Because you can't talk to people that way. You're not a 14 year old gamer. So if you can't talk to people that way, then why do you talk to yourself that way? Three, forgive yourself. I have always said that Cinderella is a horrible role model. I mean, this is a story that teaches young girls that they should fake being rich so they can rush into a relationship with a guy they barely know based on a shoe size. But that's ridiculous. 
But to her credit, she made it through years of abuse by her stepmother. And in the 2015 remake, right before Cinderella leaves to live her new life, she looks back at her stepmother and says something really important. I forgive you. Now this is actually a great message, because I would have been rubbing it in like, da ha, now you gotta do your own chores, you old bag of farts. Which is not right. No, 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 we have to do what Cinderella did. And I don't mean we have to pretend to be someone we're not so we can marry someone rich. No, I mean, we have to forgive ourselves. I don't care what mistakes you've made in the past or what stupid things you think you've done, but you need to forgive yourself. Figure out whatever it is that you feel guilty about Acknowledge to yourself that you made a mistake, because that's what human beings do, and then try to not repeat that same mistake again in the future. But most importantly, look into the mirror and say, I forgive you. And then start focusing on the person you are today. Four, take care of yourself. You want to know how to love yourself more? Take better care of yourself. Yeah, this is an obvious one, but hear me out. Let's pretend that you just got a new car. Your dream car, whatever that is. Maybe a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or, or an ice cream truck if you're lonely enough. Now, when you get this new car, you don't like spit on the window and kick dents in the fender every day. You take care of it. You probably wash it, vacuum it, take it to get service when it needs it. Probably get yourself a nice little decal to make it look cool and all. I don't know. So why don't you apply that same care to yourself? eat a little better, maybe exercise a little more. Now, I'm not saying you need to lose weight or you need to be more attractive. I'm saying you will like yourself more if you invest more time into yourself. Look, I'm not your personal trainer. I couldn't be. I, I already described to you how I run, but I'm telling you right now, if you start exercising more and stop eating fast food and stuff, you are going to start feeling better about yourself and you'll start liking yourself more. You'll also live longer too, so there's that. I hope this helps. All right guys, getting back to Bruce Banner, there's one thing I left out of his story. In a deleted scene in the 2008 Hulk movie, he actually attempted to take his own life. I guess he felt like he could no longer live with the monster inside him. But at the last minute, the Hulk came out and stopped him. And that forced Bruce to have to live with himself. So you're saying that the Hulk, the other guy saved my life? And it's the same with us. We all have to live with ourselves and the monsters living inside us. But like I told you in the beginning, people love the Hulk. Even though Bruce Banner may hate himself or hate that part of himself, the rest of the world looks at him and sees a really badass character. So if we can love this out of control green monster of a person, why can't we love ourselves? All right, guys, I hope this helps. I'm, uh, I'll see you next Monday. <laughs> I'm responding to comments on Facebook and Instagram, so. You know what to do. Girl, I'm like the McRib. I'm gonna do what I do no matter what you say. I'm living my life, Uck Fay, ooh yay. I guess that every Superman has a doomsday. I'm living my life, Uck Fay, ooh yay. I can take a loss. And I can handle rejection. I just wanna have an effect like Russia.